Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective and today we're looking at another security key. This is the high disk key and this is a Bluetooth based two factor authentication key and the company sent this over to me for me to take a look at it and give it a try and let me know what I thought of it. So they did provide the key to me. This isn't something that I purchased, so just wanted to get that up front and out of the way. This is designed to act as several things. It's supposed to act as a password manager, an RFID tag, one-time password generation for 2FA, it's FIDO2 capable. There's a lot of technology being packed into this particular package. Now, a lot of those things are standard features on most security keys. What makes this key different is it is Bluetooth powered, uh, 4.2 low energy to be exact, and it runs off of a CR2032 common user replaceable battery. So unlike some keys that I have featured that are Bluetooth, this actually comes with a reusable battery. So while it's not rechargeable, it is replaceable by the end user and it's a very common battery type. The manufacturer claims that you will get six months of battery life from a single battery. In terms of what this supports, it essentially is designed primarily with Windows and Android environments in mind. So it is U2F FIDO2 and there is an enterprise option for you to deploy these in your company large scale to allow users to have access to specific terminals, um, unattended logout. There's a lot of stuff that's being packed into this for a business solution as well as a personal solution. If by chance you don't have Bluetooth, don't worry because they have you covered. You can purchase a uh, branded Bluetooth 4.0 dongle from them. So if you don't have a laptop or more likely a desktop with Bluetooth installed, then you just pick up one of these, you put it in one of the USB ports and away you go. With that being said, let's go ahead and open this up, see what we get in the box, see what the pairing process is like and go from there. It's a small detail, but I actually like to see that the magnets have just been taped here. So you could actually take those out and recycle them or just use them for stuff. Nice touch. So inside the box, we have a steel braided cable, which is a nice little addition. And then we have the key, which is firmly impressed there. And that would appear to be it. Uh, no extra packaging, no extra nonsense. All right, so now that we have the key out of the package, I've already got the software installed, so let's see how easy it is to pair this. All right, so we've opened up our Bluetooth pair settings to get this thing set up. And it says in the manual uh, online to just press the button. Um, oh, there it goes. So there is no indicator light that I can, oh, the indicator light is blinking now. Um, it didn't seem to be blink, uh, blinking before, but it looks like we got it paired. So that was super easy. All right, so we are gonna update the firmware here and I did have to use the supplied dongle or it didn't give me the prompt to tap the device on the dongle. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And there we go, it is uploading firmware. And the light is blinking blue to indicate that. It could be the older Bluetooth module in this or perhaps another piece of technology that's sitting in that USB dongle, um, but it is seemed to be required to get this uh, maintenance application uh, to behave properly and update that. So once the key has been fully updated, we will go ahead and try setting it up. I have been provided with an enterprise server to test this out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump in my credentials here. All right, so I am in the dashboard here, and it shows one device and it shows a workstation that is waiting for approval and that looks like this one i'll create an employee and i'll create a company and we will enable proximity unlock on the user pc for this one and it looks like it wants my windows account information here Okay, so the employee has been created. This has been assigned. If I tap it now, connecting to the device, waiting for it to initialize, uploading new credentials, 
preparing device for authorization. And I'm gonna approve this user. Looks like we got it working now. I have to say that the enterprise setup is actually pretty nice. Um, it's got all sorts of information here and statistics that uh, you would wanna know down to low battery. So you could email people and say, hey, Jim, your key's about to run out of battery. You should totally fix that. Or the battery's in your mailbox. Or here's the Amazon link. Like, from a management point of view, that is pretty slick. Uh, from an individual point of view, it would be nice to see what this actually looks like without the need of the enterprise license, but this was the only way that I could get this edition of the key uh, to operate. But that's totally okay because we're just exploring what this form factor uh, would potentially look like. So we will do one more test. We're going to lock uh, the computer. And I'm going to come up here. It'll show the key as a login option. I will tap the dongle sticking out of the computer. And we're in. Now the question is, if this is out of earshot, will the computer lock like it's supposed to? How am I going to test that? Okay, so I actually went and threw the key into the other room and the computer locked, uh, just as advertised. So of course I could log in with the key. Uh, this computer is set up of course to still log in uh, with a username, which I can totally do and just temporarily bypass the key. But yeah, the key does its job. You walk away, it logs you out, unless you got a key or have a password to that terminal, depending on how your enterprise is set up, you're not getting back in. So like that's really cool. And it's a very powerful and easy to use system. You can uh, find out events, summaries. Uh, so there's a, a lot of information uh, here. If you were company IT, you wanted to know who's accessing your hardware and when, you wanna know the status of your keys, uh, down to the battery life, the firmware, everything. This is a very, very cool system. If you have any questions about this, ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. Normally when I look at this sort of security, I'm mainly looking at personal, but the idea of seeing something that could be expanded uh, into such a enterprise level is still really cool. And as always, I'll encourage you to do the big four. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So if I have any updates on how this key works, or if I feature another one, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.